What's up, what's up? And today is the day that we finally get a new rebuild. I got a new trailer here. Well, not new, uh, kind of old and janky. Kind of got uh, swindled here a little bit by this guy, picked it up at 11 or 12 o'clock at night. Should have did some more looking around. Axles are bent, but it'll be okay. We're heading off to Copart right now. We're gonna load up something that fits there. Well, what am I hiding? It's gonna be a super awesome boat. Let's get to Copart. And my luck strikes again. Check this out. This is a 6.0 diesel. I can't go over 30. And it's just jumping up and down in the RPMs. I don't know what is going on. And I gotta be at Copart in 10 minutes. I'm driving 30 miles an hour. Come on, girl. All right, we're on the highway and we're back in business. The 6 so woke up, but still got a check engine light. Got to figure out why. I'm just happy we're on time. All right, so I'm here at Copart. I'm waiting for a man that looks like Santa Claus in June. So he's a wrecker because they will not load boats. And this gentleman, you have to hire him to come out and help you load the boat, which is kind of ridiculous, but that's their policy. They got burned in the past and they do not want to touch boats anymore with their forklifts, which I kind of understand, but it puts a damper on things and to that pocketbook. All right, I'll let you know when he gets here. Look at her. She's ready to hit the water. Woo! Babe! Here she is. I'm gonna get into her when I get her back to the shop. But so far, so good. There's one spot on the boat that I wasn't expecting. That crack. I wonder how much damage that's caused on the inside. But underneath, everything looks good. The prop, rudder, exhaust. I don't see any damage underneath. So let's see how this is gonna play out. Got the big boy here. And just like that, it's loaded. Came out pretty good. The runners in the back don't look the best, but I think we'll be able to fabricate something. You see that gap there? Looks good. And also, got to do something about this. It was chewing it up on these runners, but not too bad. I'll just have to bend these arms out all right the record said we're done so I'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here and I'll see you guys at the shop and we're gonna get to work right away all right I made it back the diesel truck did okay didn't let me down but this trailer is atrocious I need to get a new one unfortunately I was making a whole bunch of noise in the way so let's go around this thing, see how much damage we got, see how much work we need to do. A little nick here, exterior. Let's see this thing. She looks good, I'm happy with the way that it came out, but this trailer is just pissing me off. Look how much boat is hanging off the trailer, that's not good at all. And I felt it all the way through. Let's see what else that I didn't show you guys. There's some damage here on the swim platform. We'll get to that when we're repair repairing the, the top as well. Got some damage to the cover of the NSS here. It's, what are they called? Surf tabs, trims, whatever, flaps. You guys keep correcting me. It doesn't really matter. It all means and does the same thing. Over here, this trailer is just, see that? It's pushing up against here we have some scratches that we need to address 
and this is the side that it was on. From what I can tell, the flood line just kind of creeped up, creeped up, but didn't go past this point, which is really good because that link system is very expensive and hopefully it turns on. We'll get inside here in a second. Everything else looks to part. I'm happy, I'm happy. Uh, these speakers, probably half of them are gonna be toast. All right, let's get inside, see what it looks like. I wanna open up all the engine covers and all the compartments and start letting it air dry. All right. I think this is gonna be the only time that I walk into this boat with shoes because there's so much glass from the windshield being destroyed. That's what it looks like inside. It's pretty, pretty bad. It looks bad, but I'm telling you it's not. Let me prove you wrong. Hit that subscribe button and I'll show you how it's done. All right, let's start opening up these hatches. Okay. All right. Here we go. Nice, all the gas shocks work. We got some flooding here, nothing too crazy. If you look on the sides here, it looks fairly decent. Okay, something moved here. This is a 343. We have some water in on the oil dipstick here. Let me show you, but it's not over flooded. Hopefully you guys can see that because I can't. So we're gonna have to get to that. Probably end up taking off the valve covers and seeing if those springs are okay. I had an issue with a flooded boat before where the springs collapsed. All right, let's put that back in. I'll get to that later. The seat cushions look okay. The biggest problem with fiberglass is gonna be in this area. This was not disclosed at the auction. I tried to show them, they really didn't care. They said that flood damage covers it all, which I don't agree with, but it is what it is at this point. I think I got a good enough deal that I'm okay with it. It's got some damage here on the upholstery. Here, everything's on shocks, which is pretty cool, on hinges. Here we have the two batteries and the amplifiers which look untouched by water from water looks good look at the connections i'm going to be gutting all of this getting a jumper on it right now to charge up these batteries because i really want to see if this link system works which it should but we'll have to see everything else looks pretty flooded as you would imagine here you could see the lines the flood lines and they kind of creep up right above here and nothing goes up higher than that which i'm super stoked about we got some more damage here in the upholstery some gel coat damage here the one thing that i'm also going to head back to the engine here there's an ecu here on the back side which is really expensive hopefully that thing didn't get busted but yeah that's this is the next rebuild guys i'm super excited this decking is awesome but look at all this damage. Here's the bow. Got some good seating. For what, 15 people this boat's rated? Yeah, 15 people can come out and chill. That's awesome. Can you imagine the force needed for this? Okay, let's start cleaning it up. And by the way, guys, if you guys have any connections for boat parts, I need a rack, I need a windshield, and uh, I need like the uh, bimini top and also the board racks. And if you have a trailer that's gonna fit a 23 foot boat, let me know down below. All right, let's get this thing cleaned up. Got a lot of this glass out. I'm able to walk in socks now instead of shoes. I unscrewed this panel completely. I'm going to try to get it out, get it out because trying to get into these creases is impossible. So I get to that, 
got these two hatches opened up found some extra seat cushions which is always fun here as well this one opened up and also here in the bow I took out the seats and let them start drying up I'm gonna take apart this windshield here so I could actually open up the glove box and it's telling me it has juice and that's 12 volts but then I realized that these are keyless and so I'm getting power on some things but still nothing on the link so what I need to do now is figure out the code or contact correct craft and get a master code for this boat that's what I'm gonna do now so guys it's very hard to work and uh, hold the camera at the same time I've been kind of just poking and prodding around things and I found the ECU check it out not a single corroded plug this is awesome this is the this is the news that I needed today all right this ballast bag is full well halfway full that's why the boat is so heavy here in the back so that's telling me that this ballast side that l-shaped ballast uh, is also full I can't tell on this side anything but the engine I think we should be just okay if I could get that code for the keypad so this is where I leave you thank you so much for watching liking commenting sharing and if you guys have any kind of connection for these parts that I need for this boat let me know down below I definitely appreciate it and for everybody that's going to be wondering how much I paid for it, I paid $22,900 at Copart. So if you ask me down there in the comments, I know you weren't paying attention. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.